Hey everyone, today I'll teach you a hack to get perfectly frosted soccer ball cupcakes with almost no effort. So let's first make some moist chocolate cupcakes. See the list of ingredients in the video description. To make them, add the eggs, sugar and a pinch of salt to the bowl of a stand mixer. Beat them for 10 minutes on medium-high speed. If you don't have a stand mixer, beat the egg whites and a pinch of salt with a hand mixer until stiff pigs form. Add the sugar and beat until dissolved. Fold in the egg yolks with a spatula. In the meantime, place cupcake liners in your pans. Sift the flour. Add the baking powder and baking soda. Sift the cocoa powder. Mix all dry ingredients. After you've mixed the eggs and sugar for 10 minutes, turn the mixer speed to low and slowly pour the oil over the egg mixture while the mixer is running. Do the same to incorporate the coffee and yogurt. Carefully blend in the flour mixture using a spatula or with the mixer running on the lowest speed. Add it in three batches rather than all of it at once. Place the batter in your cupcake pans using an ice cream scoop. Bake the cupcakes for 20 to 22 minutes in the preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius with ventilation or 165 degrees without ventilation. Now let's make an easy 5 minute mascarpone frosting. Note that buttercream works just fine as well. See the video description for the list of ingredients for the 5 minute frosting. Beat the whipping cream with the mixer until soft peaks form. About 2 to 3 minutes. Add the mascarpone cheese and condensed milk and mix on medium-high speed until smooth and creamy. That's about 1-1.5 one, one minutes. Do not overmix as the frosting will soften and not hold its shape well. And the final step, let's see the hack that you can use to make these soccer ball cupcakes in no time. Take a silicon mold with a soccer ball design. I bought these silicon molds. They're used to make ice cubes. I use only the bottom part to decorate the cupcakes. You have to fill each cavity with frosting. Then tap the mold gently on the counter to remove any air bubbles. Optionally, you can fill the cupcakes with a chocolate frosting. I use the whipped chocolate ganache. Then carefully place each cupcake upside down onto the frosting in a mold. Press gently. Freeze the cupcakes for at least 2 hours or until the frosting is very firm. Once the frosting is completely firm, gently remove each cupcake from the silicon mold by pushing from the bottom of the mold. And here you have the perfectly frosted cupcakes. Optionally, you can paint the pentagons using a small brush in black gel food coloring. Mix a bit of gel food coloring with a drop of clear alcohol to achieve a paint like consistency. Let the soccer ball cupcakes thaw in the fridge before serving. That's it for today. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching.